I don't know if I can call you Kelly or Adam. I'm like, you can call me whatever you like. Okay, I'm going to call you Adam, but we're going to talk about Kelly Holiday like yeah. it's uh, like an ulterior, like an alter ego. Yeah. Do you reckon that's the, that's the way? Because I can't call you Kelly. It feels a bit uncomfortable. I mean, you could call me Kelly if you want to. Yeah, but I personally think I can do it. Okay, I think that let's I roll think with Adam. Kelly it. Holiday is kind of like a hyper... Uh, Hyper extended version of myself, I guess. Yes, you know? I want to ask you. Obviously, one half of one of the biggest Australian musicians, like ever. Why did you start? Killing ever? I Damn. Think ever. I'll, I'm gonna go I'll, with ever, babe. Uh, yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll rock that. I mean, as long as I've been alive, so at least like 27 yeah. years. Let's okay. go with that. Yeah. Um, but why did you start Kelly Holiday? Like, how did it begin? Because you already kind of, you had your shit done. You know, you could have just hung out for a, a bit. It's a solid quest, I guess. Like, making dance music nonstop is uh you know, definitely a passion of mine. But when we started it, it was in 2010 when like all that we were doing was hitting clubs and listening to dance music. And like, we lived and breathed the whole culture of it. Um, now I can say as a 31 year old man, I'm definitely not immersed in that culture as much. And I've, you know, I kind of went off and just, I realized I want to create stuff that really speaks to how I'm feeling. Talk about my experience. I, I, can't, I can't write songs about really personal things unique to my experience of life if Ruben is involved and it's like a dance song you know what I mean so I feel yeah. like it's more of an outlet to be able to kind of talk my shit from my heart as corny as it sounds yeah with Kelly Holiday because it's so different to Peking Duck mm. was it hard to get into that groove of that sound like did you experiment a lot before you kind of started recording things or was it just natural because it was in you for so long and you were waiting to get it out that's a good question I felt weird about it because it was just me and a guitar um, and I was very like, oh, this is cringy, but I played it <laughs> like I felt crook because <laughs> uh, I was just like, this ain't me. I'm so used to do it like being a producer as opposed to like singing and playing with yeah. a guitar. Um, but then when I played it for Golden Features, shout out Golden Features, my man, uh, I played it for him and he was like, dude, you got to like do something with this. And I was like, I don't know what I'd do. And he was like, well, Kim Moyes from the presets just produced the DMAs record. And uh, I hadn't met Kim at that time, but he linked us in. And then Kim gave me the confidence to be like, no, I can do this shit. And I don't know, it kind of like, I just had to let go. I had to stop being such a pussy and being like, oh, I was just like, no, I just own it. Yeah, so like, it's so different, but mm. it's so, it's so incredible. The first time I heard it, I remember being kind of, I had it on, the songs on repeat for like, the whole album repeat for like three days. That means a lot. And I think I messaged you and I was like, You have good taste so as well, so that means a lot. I know, I have such good taste. Yeah, such you do, taste. you do. Obviously with Peking Duck, you performed to like stadiums. You did mm. the MCG recently for yeah. the cricket yeah. and you do huge shows. You also do smaller gigs with DJ sets that I learned about last year, what a DJ set is. Yeah. I'm not sure if you heard about this. DJ set. You only just found out what a DJ set is. Oh, so I, okay, I, th I thought it was one of two things. I thought... <laughs> you thought it was like the actual... No, I thought that it, okay, what I thought, I was like, is it them playing like beat booping, but like not their own songs? Or was yep. it someone else beat booping all Peking Duck songs? And oh, you've approved okay. someone. Oh, that's like a fair thing to think, it's maybe. It's not, it's not, Adam. No, and that would be a we, tribute set or something. <laughs> yeah, once like, it's all done. You know, they do like Drake yeah. nights where they only play Drake stuff. Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyway, so yeah. you've gone from doing these huge performances and then obviously Kelly kind of starting from the ground up again. For sure. I can imagine that it's kind of nice. Really nice, and I'm glad you said that because I've had certain peers, whom I won't name, mm. come up and be like, oh man, that must be so like weird and hard, like going into rooms with like 20 people and doing your thing after playing big shows. And I'm like, bro, that's saying so much about your ego if you feel yeah. that way. Like if you can't strip yourself down and like do that. I mean, I'm not saying that everyone should start their own project and you know, whatever, but <laughs> I love I love the fact that I've been able to just build up like i was in la i was based in la doing shows to like no one and then started really getting a a good fan base going and that was a beautiful thing to see people like really connecting with the project from a street level mm. of like oh they came to the last show they'll tell their friends about the next one seeing that right in front of my eyes where i am at in my life right now yeah is super interesting because with peaking dark we were so young and insane mm. i don't we don't remember much of it because it was all um a very fun time and it was yeah. like we were just like along for the ride you just kept going like just kept going just churning uh -huh. through it all and it felt like it was it's amazing but yeah this feels like a very different experience so i'm happy to be able to see i'm happy to be able to just perform it and write the music but to see people connect within a live setting sick always well because i've seen you do a gig in sydney yeah and it would have yeah been you were rocking out 
don't. The photos of me doing this. You were killing it. Because we were joking. Also, if you saw those photos, we were joking about doing a rock on single. I think it's great. I think bring it back. But we kept rocking on. What we do you reckon, it. Timmy? Because I... <laughs> what do you reckon? <laughs> rock on, baby. Shout out, Timmy Temple. <laughs> greatest guitarist on planet Earth. Um, But the way you perform is so much energy. It's so incredible. And I think that's why Kelly Holiday is growing so much so quickly amongst people who love Australian music because you hear about how good you are at performing. Our producer, Kira, who is new, who used Shout to be my Kira. PA, she went and saw you at Falls and she texted me and she said, she said, I finally understand the Kelly Holiday thing. <laughs> and then she said, he is such a man. Such a man. You are such a man. Isn't Thank that wonderful, you. Kira, that now Adam knows? Thank you so much for that. <laughs> Even in a skirt, I feel like but a man I'm now. I'm sure Kira's, I'm sure Kira's told her friends about how great you are, and I tell all my mm. friends how great you are. So I think that intimate setting really helps it grow really quickly. Yeah, no, I really appreciate that. Like, I think it means a lot to, you know, people like you are the reason why music gets more recognition. It's like word of mouth. That, that's the beautiful thing about music. I feel like social media is great, and of course, you know, there's content and all that stuff, but there's nothing that can be compared to like live music in a live setting where everyone's sweating dancing it's a very primal thing you yeah. know what i mean like we've yeah. been doing that since we were neanderthals so i feel like to be able to do that again especially after covid it's a real yeah it's a real joy yeah Are happy happy Adam? joy joy so i mean good. i just i just enjoy it like i think ever since i was a kid i was just a dickhead dancing around screaming and i feel like i'm just <laughs> it's, it's just more of that it's worked out um so the album kelly has done really good numbers it's not all right yeah could have done better but hey you know you live I love love I think, I mean, but you're also with Peking Duck though. I think that, that'd be hard as well to change your mindset of mm. what you're used to with Peking Duck. And I think, it, I think it's amazing. I mean, thank you. most people I talk to not have heard something of yours or, or have heard Kelly Holiday, the name before, or they've heard a song. Um, what's happening with new music? What's coming out soon? Have we got anything? I've been working my little titties off. I'll tell you that much for free. I've been uh, really, really just like thinking to myself, okay, I want to create a bunch more music, but what's something that like, I want to hear like let's actually write because that first album was kind of me going through this you know shitty breakup and then classically just like getting a little guitar and writing songs about it, which is cool and I'm happy with how it turned out but now I'm like I'm on my thought shit and I'm like what do I want to write about what do I want to hear and it's been really refreshing Beautiful. it's like uh it's very UK inspired but it feels very authentic to me as a person so I'm excited to share it and hopefully this year there'll be a full another project coming so what are we hearing today? The breakup pre-thought. Well, no, these are both pretty celebratory thought anthems. Um, <laughs> one of them's called Where You Feel yeah. and the other one's called We Don't Have To Know. We Don't Have To Know was actually written in Los Angeles um, within 24 hours in this one studio with two lunatics, Tim Randolph and Cam Alexander. There's like an ad lib track that runs throughout the whole song if you listen closely. Uh -huh. And it's us just giggling and screaming. I like that. I feel like more rock music should have I live tracks like an old Wu Tang song or whatever. So yeah. I, that that holds a special place in my heart. They're both super fun. They're, they're fun. Both amazing. Yeah, they're boppy and fun. And yeah. I think uh, it's summertime here in Australia, so why not you know have a little shandy and a two step? Amazing. Let's do it now. Let's do it. <laughs>
Grazie. Oh, that was actually fun.